This video is brought to you by Spirits Network. You throw the holiday party. We'll provide the entertainment and bottle service. Spirits Network, sign up today. These franchises still have some stories left to tell. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie franchises that need another sequel. You want to investigate other people, that's what you want. I don't know, maybe. Maybe we should just, we should just branch out. They just sow our oats a little. For this list, we're looking at film series with the most potential for further installments. We'll be looking at franchises for which new films have yet to be confirmed, or at least remain tentative. Although, given Hollywood's love of sequels, prequels, and reboots, from the time it takes us to write this script and then upload it, you never know. Thank you! I think you love me! You really love me! Number 10. Scream The Scream franchise slashed its way onto the scene in the mid-90s as a clever, satirical commentary on other films in the genre that also managed to deliver legitimate scares of its own. Never, ever, ever under any circumstances say, I'll be right back, because you won't be back. I'm getting another beer, you want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back! Although the quality dropped off to some degree after the first couple of films, the premise is a solid one, and worth exploring further, particularly if a sequel drew on the newer horror tropes that have cropped up in recent years. I can't believe you're alone in that house. I don't think I'm alone. I'm out of here. While the Scream TV series has continued the franchise, we'd like to see it return to the big screen. Sadly, the death of the series' legendary director Wes Craven makes another sequel unlikely. Someone's killing them in the order they die in the movie. Dewey, who gets killed third? Number 9. Ace Ventura Jim Carrey became a household name in 1994 thanks to lead roles in Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, and The Mask. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. His over-the-top performance as the titular animal-loving pet detective won Ace Ventura a sequel the following year. While the animated TV series and threequel followed, neither involved Carrie and lacked his one-of-a-kind magic. Ah! Ah! Could it be time for Carrie to return to his roots with a new Ace Ventura movie? As environmental issues become ever more urgent, it's certainly a timely moment for a movie that's ultimately all about caring for our animal friends. And my instincts tell me we're getting closer. I can feel it. I can feel it like it's right in my neck! Run! <laughs> Number 8. National Treasure Although not as brainy as The Da Vinci Code or as brawny as Indiana Jones, the National Treasure movies are fun, puzzle-filled romps through American history. There is not a treasure map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. And there's no chance anyone can steal this. The two films in the series both established an interesting, if historically inaccurate, mythos that could easily be explored in another sequel. Lorclum. Mount Rushmore? The titular, mystery-filled Book of Secrets in the second film offered a veritable goldmine of ideas for new adventures. Although it seemed poised to set up the plot for a third entry on a silver platter, the next movie has been in development limbo for years now. We both know what has to happen here, Ben. One of us keeps the door open and stays behind. I vote Mitch! This isn't a democracy. Number 7. The Mask while Jim Carrey shoots our hypothetical follow-up to Ace Ventura, why not also The Mask? It's party time! There's still a lot of material in the Dark Horse comic book series to mine for new films. And the sequel without Jim Carrey, Son of the Mask, was far from a worthy finale. In 1994, the original Mask's zany antics captivated audiences, delivering to the big screen a new kind of superhero. This is incredible. With the influx of superhero movies of late, it might be the perfect moment to bring back this twist on the genre. Now you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well... Do ya? Punks? Number 6. Anchorman This comedy franchise follows the absurd, mustachioed Ron Burgundy and his fellow Anchorman in several wacky adventures and romantic struggles, set against an affectionate parody of the news industry. Brick, are you saying that there's a party in your pants and that I'm invited? That's it. This series is full of hilarious moments and is among the most quotable on our list, with plenty of iconic lines. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. The outrageous characters and the situations they get into are endlessly entertaining, and we'd love to see more of them, almost as much as we love Lamp. 
Here's hoping that Anchorman's legend continues on into the future. I saw that. Brick killed a guy. Number 5. Jump Street Based on the TV series of the same name, these films took what was a fairly serious undercover police procedural set in high school and turned it into profane, rambunctious buddy action comedies. Infiltrate the dealers, find the supplier. What if we find the supplier first? We don't have to worry about the dealer. God damn. Infiltrate the dealers, find the supplier. The Jump Street movies managed to blend a satirical take on teen movies with a fun hysterical twist on the police action genre for a truly unique comedy film series. Ah, it's me! It's me! Shit. You made it, dude. Did you get Mercedes? Yeah. All by myself. Really? Mainly by myself. Okay. There has been talk of a 23 Jump Street, a female-driven spinoff, and even a Men in Black crossover. But at this rate, we're not sure we'll ever get 2121 Jump Street. I'm a solo artist now, like Beyonce. I used to have the other Destiny's children, but now I'm just uh, a lone superstar. Happy for you. Number 4. A Nightmare on Elm Street As a franchise, A Nightmare on Elm Street has been through almost as much as its unfortunate protagonists. Come to Freddy. Nothing has ever matched Wes Craven's 1984 original, although his new nightmare a decade later came close. The 2010 remake was critically panned and received generally negative reactions from audiences. Yet, Freddy Krueger remains a horror movie icon, haunting our nightmares like few others. We got six more minutes to play. <laughs> could a sequel just make things worse? Yeah, sure. But it could also restore Freddy to glory. Hey, try, try, and try again. It couldn't be much worse than the remake or the final nightmare. You killed Krueger. Where'd you hear that name? You chased him, you cornered him, and you burned him to death. You hunted him! Number three, Hellboy. Ah, the glory days of Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy. Come back, Liz. Come back. No, no, HB. His 2004 adaptation knocked it out of the park with fantastic visuals, a compelling story, and a definitive performance from Ron Perlman. Say hi, Ivan. Gotcha. The sequel, Hellboy 2 The Golden Army, set the bar even higher. Their success owed more than a little to the excellent practical effects and makeup that Del Toro is known for. The child makes a choice. Fans couldn't wait for a follow up, but instead, we got 2019's reboot. Hey, hey, hey! You just got to the good parts! A solid performance from David Harbour in the lead role could not save it, and the call for Guillermo del Toro to take back the reins has never been stronger. I can damn well guarantee it. Number 2. Austin Powers Yeah, baby. An uproarious spoof of James Bond and other spy films, Austin Powers follows the spy of the same name in his numerous battles against his nemesis, Dr. Evil. We get the warhead, and we hold the world ransom for... One million dollars. Filled to the brim with pop culture references, cameos, and plenty of humor and memorable characters, Austin Powers is a film series that warrants investment, even if it is only one million dollars. Let me make you a deal, all right? You get the motor, you keep your money, and I'll get your baby. Efforts to make a sequel have stalled for a long time now, but many fans hold out hope that the Randy spy and his goofy enemy will once again grace us with another over-the-top caper. Austin, thank you for everything. I would definitely watch most of these sequels, especially a Scream one, I think. Whether they'd be any good, well, that's another story. I would not be at all surprised if we saw a sequel to our number one pick in the near future because it had one not too long ago. That's a clue. All right, let's check out the honorable mentions, and then we'll see which movie franchise we want to continue the most. And of course, keep in mind we've excluded franchises that have sequels announced. Hey, Rep, why don't you call something for crying out loud? He almost took his arm off! Gotta be two minutes. Two minutes well worth it. Get in the box, big goon. Just relax for a second. Take ten minutes, and then you can go back to screaming. I promise. I'll join you. Okay, just relax for a second. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mad Max This post-apocalyptic action movie franchise has our blood pumping for another drive. I'm scared, thief. You know why? That mad circus out there. 
I'm beginning to enjoy. Following the journeys of the wandering anti-hero Max Rokitansky in a desolate future where water and fuel are scarce, the Mad Max franchise features high-octane action along with gorgeous cinematography. And some high-octane gasoline. With the release of Fury Road, which saw Tom Hardy take over the road warrior mantle for Mel Gibson, the franchise has proven it still has some gas left in the tank to fuel further adventures in Max's fascinatingly bleak future world. The day we witness another Mad Max sequel will be a lovely day indeed. You know, hope is a mistake. If you can't fix what's broken, you'll, uh, you'll go insane. This video is brought to you by Spirits Network. You throw the holiday party. We'll provide the entertainment and bottle service. Spirits Network. Sign up today.